How do these birds survive with such awkwardly crossing beaks that look like an injury? Honestly, when I first saw a crossbill, I thought someone had maimed the poor bird. But you know what's most amazing? These creatures don't just survive with their broken beaks. They're thriving. And they say that after death, their bodies turn into mummies right there in the coniferous forest. Sounds like a fairy tale, but science has its own take on this matter. Crossbills are the true revolutionaries of the bird world. These remarkable creatures inhabit coniferous forests of the Northern Hemisphere, from Scandinavia to Canada, from Siberia to Alaska. And yes, their beaks really do look like the result of nature's failed experiment. But don't rush to pity these birds. They handle their unusual anatomy perfectly well. The secret of their success lies in the unique ecological niche they claimed millions of years ago. Crossbills became absolute specialists in extracting seeds from coniferous trees. While other birds struggle to find food in winter, crossbills live in paradise. After all, seeds from pines, spruces, and larches are available year-round. Their crossed beak isn't evolution's whim, but a precision instrument created for one specific task. Imagine trying to extract a seed from a spruce cone with regular pliers. Nearly impossible. Now, imagine specialized curved pliers designed exactly for this purpose. That's what a crossbill's beak is. The working mechanism is stunning in its elegance. The bird inserts the cross tips of its beak under a cone scale, then spreads them apart, creating a small gap. At this moment, the tongue enters the game, long, muscular, and incredibly dexterous. It penetrates the created gap and extracts the precious seed. The entire process takes mere seconds, and a crossbill can process hundreds of cones this way in a single day. But every coin has its flip side. When crossbills have to eat something else, their specialized beak becomes a real problem. Try eating soup with chopsticks held wrong, and you'll understand what it's like for crossbills to pick up fallen seeds or insects. They literally have to turn their heads sideways to grab food with the side part of their beak. Interestingly, crossbills have real asymmetry not only in beak structure, but also in brain function. Scientists discovered that these birds have a more developed right hemisphere, exactly the one responsible for complex food manipulation. This makes crossbills unique even among birds. But the most mysterious part of the crossbill story relates to their posthumous fate. For centuries, people have found mummified bodies of these birds in coniferous forests, preserved in perfect condition for months, sometimes years. This spawned an amazing legend that crossbills naturally turn into mummies. The explanation of this phenomenon is indeed connected to the bird's diet, but not quite as many think. Crossbills do consume large amounts of resin along with coniferous tree seeds. This resin has antiseptic properties and theoretically could help preserve tissues. However, it's not a magical embalming compound. The real reason for crossbill mummification lies in their habitat conditions. Coniferous forests are natural preservers. High concentration of resinous substances in the air, low humidity, constant ventilation, and cool temperatures create ideal conditions for natural drying of organic tissues. Add to this the unique feature of crossbills, their incredibly tenacious feet. These birds can hang from branches even while unconscious thanks to special tendon structure. When a crossbill dies, its feet often remain clenched around a branch and the bird simply dries out in this position, like a naturally made taxidermy specimen. Scientists conducted numerous experiments trying to reproduce the crossbill mummification process in laboratory conditions. Results showed that under certain conditions, low humidity, good ventilation, and presence of antiseptic substances, bird bodies can indeed be preserved significantly longer than usual. However, mass mummification of crossbills doesn't occur in nature. If it did, coniferous forests would turn into real natural history museums festooned with mummified birds. In reality, finds of well-preserved crossbills are quite rare and depend on many favorable circumstances coming together. Modern taxidermists have learned to use crossbills' natural properties to create quality specimens. Some museum crossbill mummies passed off as natural are actually the result of professional craft work. Crossbills continue to amaze researchers today. Recently, ornithologists discovered that different crossbill populations have developed various beak types adapted to specific coniferous tree species. This discovery may shed light on speciation mechanisms and show evolution in action.
The Crossbill story is about how nature finds the most unexpected solutions for survival. These birds prove that sometimes an apparent disadvantage can become the greatest advantage, and legends often have quite scientific foundations. In the Crossbill world, every day is a lesson in how important it is to look at things from different angles. Until next time.